I need a heal. I'm very, I'm very low. Hold on, Papyrus. Hold off on that date. I need to heal up first. You beat me up good. Beat me up a little too good. Where, where was the inn? Here is the inn. Also, I kind of want another bicycle because I spent one by accident. Okay. Exit. I'm also assuming that the inn costs money. Hold on, let me save first. Sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Hi, hello, welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80 G's? I can't afford that, I'm sorry. Oh, saving heals me. Okay, that makes sense. Why would I spend 80 G's at the inn if I could just save? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take some, take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Is it to that weird alcove at the top that I didn't know what I was supposed to- Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. Where are we going, Papyrus? Where are you taking me? My house! We- <sighs> Same. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Okay, all right, Papyrus, take me. Show me around, man. Uh-oh. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. <laughs> My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-eggy substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see! It's your special attack! What? Catch that meddling canine! A darn it, Sans! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Okay, Papyrus, what do you want? Welcome to Scenic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Oh god, I'm I'm afraid of what I'm gonna find in here, but I'll look. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. <laughs> You decide to stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't have to go to that level of humor, but that's good. That was good. <laughs> What's this rock looking thing on the table? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. Rock is covered in sprinkles. Yuck. <laughs> that's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and... Do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? No, I want to talk to Sans first. Sans' room looks cool. <laughs> the door is locked. Alright, never mind. Alright. Papyrus, let's go in your room. Go inside? Yes. Oh, wow. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Yeah, you're right. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <sighs> Good theory, man. Good theory. <laughs> it's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> no, Matt Pat, no. <laughs> That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Now I'm curious what the ending of that book is. <laughs> the internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. From a double digit follower count. S so you're at negative two. You owe the internet two followers. Interesting. Interesting. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in goofy font. I wonder who that could be. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? <sighs> I don't know why this is suddenly turning into a dating sim, but yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, dating start. <laughs> Suddenly we're on a dating sim. <laughs> I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Uh, sure. <laughs> yes. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Oh, it really is a dating sim. <laughs> Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> you men, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure, <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing, man. R really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? I mean, look, the option... <laughs> You've presented this option in front of me. I don't know why I wouldn't take it. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. Oh no, suddenly this has turned into an episode of Phoenix Rain! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I love it. <laughs> this, is, this is cool, dude. It's cool, man. <laughs> no! A genuine compliment! <laughs> no! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. <laughs> I'm getting a mix of so many different game genres right now. I'm even getting a, a, like a, a hint of Yu-Gi-Oh! You've activated my trap card, Yugi. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this way too much. I'm so glad I'm playing this right now. <laughs> Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. I swear, this is just a game of Phoenix Wright and like a dating sim and like... This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. 
What about the basketball shoulder pads? I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. Papyrus, you might need to take some anatomy. I don't think those are your biceps. <laughs> Maybe it's the backwards cap? My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course I do, it's your spaghetti. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This isn't artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I mean, hey, you cooked spaghetti for me, I'll- I'll-, I'll sure. It, as long as it's not frozen spaghetti, I'll eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah. No. No. <laughs> Dating power is over 9,000. <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I, I mean, I, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! You men, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh god, oh no. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Cool, we got his phone number. Awesome, sweet. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we got friend zone and we got the phone number. <laughs> I was not expecting a dating sim segment. I gotta be really honest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Papyrus left his own house. Where did he go? Alright, Sans still won't talk to me. The door is locked. Okay, sadness. <sighs> okay, okay. Wow. Now, okay, I, I gotta go back and save. That was... <laughs> that was one wild ride. <laughs> oh, man. The sight of a s s friendly town, determination, all that, yes. Okay, let's see if we can move forward now, because there's like, there's still this icy problem that I don't quite know how to deal with. Was it just for the cutscene? Okay. I, I'm, I'm just gonna keep moving forward, assuming that we can now. Oh, hello. Yo, are you sneaking around to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? 
I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell me your parent. Don't. Uh -huh. Don't tell my parents I'm here. Uh huh. Don't tell my parents I'm illiterate. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Very nice. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> Alright, Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come by? I, I just came from that town, but sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Isn't... Wasn't Grillby's to the left? How do we get to Grillby's from the right? Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Ha 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 ha! Here, get comfy. Oh, this is a whoopee cushion again. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. I wonder which weirdo it was. <laughs> anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? I like fries. I want them both. I'll, I'll take fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real be, we'll have a double order of fries. Okay. So, what do you think? Of my brother. He's pretty cool. He's pretty... <laughs> he's pretty energetic. <laughs> of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Thanks, Grillbees. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Ch sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Ugh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Thanks, Sans. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree to Papyrus. You have to agree Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's a... It's still a work in progress. Yeah... Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Where did you get the spotlight? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, I have. So you know all about it. No, I... Oh, oh the echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flat, flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Do we really need the mysterious spotlight for for this? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work like that. Or for that, what? What? Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's uh, sands, sands. No, just kidding. Really, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Same! Me too. All the time. You're not gonna take the fries? I- I want the fries. I want fries. You can dip the undipped fries in the fries that are drenched in ketchup. Wait, you said you took a short- you brought me all the way back here. <laughs> but Sans... Alright, I just I gotta make my way back again, I guess.
Okay, uh, back, I gotta save again. All right, goodbye, Sans. Use the box? Yeah, use, wait, no, I wanna read the sign. This is a box. You can put items in and take them out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. How do I cross this? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's an echo flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Can I go behind the rushing water? Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Can I do anything about it? No, I can't. Good talk. Do I just need to dodge the rocks when I go up? Is that what I need to do? Am I just bad at this? <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, I, I have this very ominous silhouette. Wow. Ooh. Uh, hi, Undyne. Undine? I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Did I fight them? Oh, he's still talking. Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on Diane, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see. You see. Uh-oh. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. No! We've lost an ally in Papyrus. Uh-oh. Stay very still now. Don't move a muscle. Okay. Back away. Back up. Nice and easy now. <laughs> oh. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. -ha. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You okay there? You, you good? A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I'm feeling dreadful. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh, I can pick them up. Ah, when they align in the water, the sprout. Oh, neat. Cool mechanic. Oh, uh. Sometimes I forget these wild battles exist too. <laughs> Man, it's been such a long time since I've had one of these. What's an Aaron? Whew, I'm sweating. Oh, d d uh, there's a lot of sweat. Many s sweat. Much sweat. Smells like an underwater barnyard. Okay, I think it's because I have the glove that I have to, like, mash the button when I hit the... Uh, the accuracy check. Again, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I was unaware. I'm just really slow. I can't read the sign. Oh, but if I throw four of these in a row, can I read the sign? But the question is, can I pick them back up after I throw them down? Because there is a path up there that I want to see. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. Thanks, game. Now I gotta go reset the thing. <laughs> Okay, okay, F very funny, very funny, nice, g good gimmick. Now the question is, how do I line up four of these to get across there? 
If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I, I got it. I know what to do. I got it. I got it. I got it. I know. I got it. It's it's from here. We're gonna throw it up that path. And then we're gonna make a we're gonna make a We're gonna make a row that way. And then I can cross. I should be able to cross. Right? Right? Let's see, let's see. Blossom? Cool! Oh, phone call. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <sighs> Man, you... You got quite some time on your hands, Papyrus. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? I mean, yeah, I am. I don't know. I, I could lie. I'm not going to be a liar. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Cool. I feel like Papyrus might have my back, but I also feel like I might get backstabbed by him at some point. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Hmm. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Uh oh, oh. I had something profound to say, and then you interrupted my trail of thought. Meh. Out darn spot. Oh, oh. Oh, you're a dry eraser. <laughs> you're an eraser. <laughs> Woshua. Wash, Washua? It's a Joshua, but you're a Washua. Wordplay. Meh. Your love increased. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Wait, wait, okay, so like this whole, this whole underworld, underground thing, are we like trying to depict an afterlife in, in like an underworld? Because again, I am a fallen human, so I'm under the assumption that I, I've, I've descended to the underworld, so I've passed through life, and so the king wants to open the gates to the real world. To the to the upper world and so my only like my my current interpretation is that like this is some sort of like afterlife world that wants to regain life by passing through to the real world look through the telescope sure there's not much to see but like the ceiling but check wall check the wall check what wall check the wall i'm checking all the walls Check what wall? This- oh! Yes, check the wall. Hello? Ancient writing covers the walls, you can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Oh. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. I don't get to see it. Oh, what the heck? I'm suddenly walking on a floating platform. There's still this ominous silhouette. Oh my god. Should I be here? Oh no. I was not expecting an IRL fight and not like a battle sequence fight. I'm going, I'm moving, we're dodging. I, oh no, oh no, oh no. 
I was not expecting something like this at this caliber. Hold on. Run with your little legs, please! Oh no! Oh no! Why did my camera have to turn off now? I'm in the middle of something very dangerous! I'm just gonna sit here. Can it still see me? Are we good? Oh no... I am not here. Oh god. I'm so sorry, little buddy. I didn't know you were here. Wait. Wait, is he- is he dead? It- Whoa! <coughs> Whoa! Whoa, I was not expecting that to happen. Whoa! Oh, I can't move. Oh, you're still here. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just... touched me. I'm never watching my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh man. Did she pick did, did, did she pick it up by the face or was it like I thought she like thrust her blade into its face. I was very concerned. This cheese has been here a long time. A magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Just like the last piece of cheese. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal. It fills you with determination. It really does. It really does. Oh, hi, Sans. Hello. I'm thinking about getting into telescope business. It's normally 50,000 Gs to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? You're offering me a free use of the telescope, sure. What am I supposed to be looking for, though? Anything important? It's looking pretty red, Sans. Pretty red. It's an odd-looking telescope. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. My full free refund. Use the box? Yeah. I- I haven't had much opportunity to pick up items or like get items. I feel like... Are there- should- Do items show up? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. No. That's not- No. Oh, it's the vendor. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. I can buy from you. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream. Uh, It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 Gs. I'll take one. Sure. Super. Your card is in the box. You got the ice cream. Awesome. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Of ice cream or of crystal? <laughs> what is this place though? The underground does seem very cool. You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Do I have any wishes to make? Do I have any wishes that I want to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. Just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Well... Don't rule it out as stupid. Oh, Mold Small. It's been a while since I've seen these guys. Oh shoot, it's a one-shot. 
You know, I feel like I should have been battling these things when they were showing up earlier in the game. But I was a little bit too much of a pacifist. I just didn't want to fight anything. Maybe things will change now. Oh, phone. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked about your clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you would know that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cook, I did not take off the bandana. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Is it, Papyrus? Is it really? I wish it were easy. Wait, I want to hear the rest of the wish conversation. I need to know who, what the wish of that person is. Not that I'm being nosy about it, but... You're a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Yeah, see, now you're building it up. I need to know. I want to know. What's the wish? What's your wish? I guess we'll never know, because then we came across more mold small, 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 small. I'm skipping a lot of dialogue by accident. I'm like spam pressing it. I'm, I don't mean to. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Am I walking to my imminent doom? Oh, 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 I don't like this. Hello? Uh, hi there. <laughs> hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sen. Onion Sen, you hear? I I hear. I hear ya. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Yeah, just, uh. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. Beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium. Like all of my friends... What are you? Are you... You're Onion Sen. What are you... And the aquarium's full anyway, so... Even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? I I hear you loud and clear, buddy. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Goodbye, goodbye. That was a very strange encounter. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Hi, Shiren. You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile, too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Are, are, are they two separate entities? A Shiren and an Aaron? Shiren thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Hum! You hum a jazz ballad. Sharon follows your melody. <laughs> see me, see me, see me, see me. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Are are you of sparing? Can I spare now? Oh, you won! Cool. Zero exp and thirty gold. The northern room hides a great treasure. I bet it does. Also, here's the thing though. Is there a run where somebody just like doesn't beat anybody up? Like, is, is there like a complete pacifist route where you don't earn any EXP and, and you can beat the game without uh, beating anybody up? Kind of thing. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play? Only the first eight are fine. What does that mean? X quit. There's a piano here. Play it. What does it mean?
What does he mean? A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Is there something I should be listening for? Only the first eight are fine. So there's a melody I should be listening for. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. Wait! Was the siren song supposed to be the thing that I was supposed to pay attention to? To- to do the- Oh, no, now I'm- Oh, can I re-encounter the siren? <laughs> what was the melody? Sire, sire... See me, see me... But those notes aren't here. I have re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I don't have... Unless T is... C. So then would it be C Ray, C Ray, C me, C me? But I only have four notes. I, I need I need more. Wait, is that eight? I'm confused. I, I, I could listen. There, there's a melody down the corridor. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Down the corridor. Is this the corridor or is... The an- usually the answer will be known to me if I move forward. Usually. I'm gonna be really upset if I miss this segment. I I is it this? It's a statue. The structure at its feet seem dry. Please take one. I'll- umbrella? Sure, absolutely. Take an umbrella, take one. You took an umbrella- oh, th 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 thank you. <laughs> What is this creepy silhouette on the floor? Or is that just water? Yo, you got an umbrella! Awesome! Let's go- This- this- this kid mooching moff my umbrella! <laughs> You've caused me enough trouble, kid! Alright, buddy, I'll take you where you wanna go, just don't cause me trouble, Undyne's gonna kill me. I'm gonna get slaughtered because of you. You're also not under the umbrella, so I don't... <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Wait. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him, Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. You have a very one-track mind, my friend. Also, why is it just raining where I'm walking and it's not raining anywhere else? Um... Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers? She's too cool to ever hurt any an innocent- <laughs> She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Uh, an innocent person! <laughs> oh, my throat. Oh. Oh, wow. Where... Where are we? Oh, I'm still here. <laughs> I thought this was a cutscene. I stood here for a while. <laughs> now, where are you going, buddy? Why'd you stop? Why have we stopped here? Should we? Should, should I admire this thing with you? I oh, oh you oh you were just waiting for me, right? Sorry, my bad, my bad. All right, putting the umbrella away. Let's put it back. Return the umbrella. Oh yay. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Can I? 
Oh. Yo, you go on ahead. Yo, you gotta start everything with yo, yo. <laughs> yo, what's up? <laughs> oh man, oh no. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Uh, you always find a way to face plant too. I feel bad. <laughs> the humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attack suddenly and without mercy. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. I've always liked the sound of rain indoors. I never like being out in the rain. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Who instigated the war is a better question. I know there's conflict, but... Who started it? How did we get here? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Oh! No! 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 Undyne, you're everywhere! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Make it stop! Okay, at least the attack pattern is more apparent to me this time. Oh my god, the paths are getting more narrow. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. It's like a maze now. Oh, that's a dead end. Oh, th these are all dead ends. Um, going down? Going down? That's also a dead end. Oh, come on. Which isn't a dead end. Where... Where do I need to go? The attacks are getting faster, I don't like this. Slow down, Undyne. Oh, I don't want to mess up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We're out, we're out. Uh, of course it's not over. <laughs> There's slow- oh. This- This is a real dead end. Um. What am I doing here? Should I just- Oh, oh, hold on. Ugh, it was bound to happen at some point. I wasn't expecting this to happen so soon. Oh my god. Oh, you- oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Heiji Wu, huh? That's a nice name. My name is- wait, no! What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? <sighs> Gosh darn it. Oh. I am in waters. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. So are there human- is this like human garbage? The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the caverns. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below, viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage. It fills you with determination! Of course it does! All of that misery fills me with determination. Alright, what- I, Did I, like, end up in a sewer? You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. That is not a honk of despair. <laughs> a beat-up desktop computer, the inside is empty. Hmm. Why are we seeing a lot of human garbage? It's a cooler. It has no brand and no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take what? Oh, sure, absolutely. You got the astronaut food. Cool. What is this? 
It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Also, ooh, a dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Sure. You sock the dummy. Who cares? Toriel would be very disappointed in me. Oh no, it is a dummy. Um. Um. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fool, you think you can hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until... You came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said... Horrible. Shocking. Unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. We, we, we can talk it out, man. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. I'm sorry. Everyone's upset, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you can attack yourself? What the heck? Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. We can still talk it out, man. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Okay, so probably not. Um... I just need to avoid the dummy's attacks and attack the dummy with the dummy. Mad dummy is bossing around its bullets. I'm just gonna go ahead and also attack it in the meantime. Oh, oh. Foolish, foolish, foolish! My camera! Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still incorporeal. You dummy. Wait, is dummy a compliment? Okay, so I can only attack it with its own attacks. Okay, okay. Mad dummy is bossing around its bullets. Great, good to know. I can beat up your corporeal form and have to deal with some incorporeal- Oh my god. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. <laughs> you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this as we're no different. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Oh, go oh god. Oh my god. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over its dialogue balls. <laughs> Mad Dummy attack 30 defense. Yes, because they're a ghost. Physical attacks will fail. Then everything I want will be mine. How do I get you to launch that way? Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Futile, futile, futile! Uh, uh. Oh! Hey, guys! Uh, oh, that is, uh, that's a lot of them. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words. <laughs> Dummy bots magic missiles. Uh, oh, 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 no, they're, they're, okay. I was not expecting tracing bullets. It smells like a clothing store. Okay, I, I gotta be careful now. Uh, uh, uh. That's very dangerous, oh my god. Okay. Mad Dummy glares into the mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. Okay, how many more times do I need to do this? Because that, <laughs> this is very tough. Oh, no, oh, no. Uh. So many rockets and none of them hit you? Oh, come on. Final attack. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm just getting socked left and right. There we go. N no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. 
Uh, oh. I've got knives. <laughs> Maybe don't. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me. I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck is this? Acid rain? Oh, f forget it. I'm out of here. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, it's you. S sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys look like you were having fun. Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Man, this ghost is so much like me. <laughs> Just like, hey, I mean, you want to hang out? Sure, but like, I, it's totally up to you. And if you don't want to, it's okay, man. It's just, you know, thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> it's too much like me. Oh. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Lack in self-confidence is very understandable. <laughs> you feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Very peaceful here. Kind of like it. Oh, which house is yours? This one? Oh. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Interesting. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Sure. <laughs> Very catchy. Oh, I can pick the soundtrack. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. <laughs> it's the same tune, but they made it sort of like Vaporwave. <laughs> This CD is labeled Goliday Music, I swear. <laughs> it's Christmas! It's Christmas! <laughs> oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's not hard to sing along. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. What's in the fridge? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. <laughs> you phase right through it. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't imagine like the game devs or the script writers just sitting there coming up with these like witty jokes in the in their game. I just I can't imagine somebody coming up with it in a team meeting and just being like, "That's a great idea." <laughs> After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure, let's feel like garbage together. <laughs> okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You lie you'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Is there any purpose to lying down and feeling like garbage? <laughs> Listening to this wonderful ghost go Goliday music. Oh, oh. Is the existential dread settling in? Oh, no. Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you traversed through a different timeline? Have you ever thought about what it would be like to live amongst the stars? What, what other existential thoughts do people have? Why is licorice black? 
Why is the sky blue, but the ocean also blue? Is water wet? Why do people walk forward with their leading with their left foot versus leading with their right foot? Do you brush your teeth up and down or left to right? God, I'm feeling the existential dread right now. Hold on. <laughs> is there any other purpose to this other than just like chilling out? All right, snap out of it. Wake up. Wake up. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Sure, anytime, buddy. I'll feel like garbage with you anytime. It's locked. Cool. There were also- there are- oh, there are a multitude of directions I could go on this map. Um... Let's see. Let's go left first. Oh. Oh, hi. This little bird wants to ca wants to carry you across. Except the bird- I mean, sh can you carry my weight? What a strong bird. You can do it, little buddy. You're- we're- we're almost at the- we're pretty close. We're in the- above the water. Yes, yes, we're almost there. Wow, what a strong- strong bird. Strong bird. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, we're back here. Interesting. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally fit- oh, you're- we are- yeah, yeah, yeah. If I look into this telescope again, would it be any different? Any differences? Anything new? Nope. Just pure red. Can the little birdie take me back? This little bird wants to carry across the bird, except the bird's offer- I- what did I say? <laughs> take me! Okay, thank you! <laughs> strong bird. <laughs> Big strong bird. Okay, I'm just gonna save again just because I'm here. Oh, I didn't see this sign. North, block acres, east, hotland. Question mark, Temi village. Is that Lily's dog? Lily Pichu's dog, Temi? Can I read the sign before I enter? Oh, oh, hi there. Whoa there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Crab apple heals 18 HP, looks like a crab. CT heals 10 HP, speed up. Armor minus two defense, invincible longer. What is the invincible status? I don't know if I want to upgrade. Actually, I want to talk to you. I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> cool. Turtles. Turtles, eh? Save the turtles. Save the turtles. Eh? You don't know what that is? Or are they teaching y'all kids in the school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Great name, huh? It's as I always say, uh, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Album's meaning. That album actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circles above symbolize something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Guess we're gonna learn about the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking about a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the Angel of Death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Wahaha. <laughs> what about the king? What do you know about the king? King of Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. Same. <laughs> but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Yeah, yeah, sure. About Undyne. Undyne? 
Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through him here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Is that a store promo? Is this for my own good? Should I buy the items with invincibility and equip them? I'll do business with you. I'll bite. I'll, I'll bite. We'll buy the cloudy glasses and the torn notebook. Can I sell anything though? I'm trying to get rid of my junk. Not get. Oh, okay. The Temi Village. I can sell stuff at the Temi Village. Okay. Nobody knows where the Temi Village is. Perfect. Awesome. Can I equip my newfound items? You equip the glasses. You equip the torn notebook. 12 attack, 1 defense. Or, oh wait. 14 attack and 6 defense. Okay. I'm gonna put a bicycle in the box. I don't think I need- I already have a lot of healing items. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed- We have magicians?! <laughs> Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to the seven human hu <sighs> If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. I'm only one human, where do we get six other humans? But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. I'm a fallen human. Do we need six more fallen humans? Oh. Oh, you light the way. You show me the way. I, w I was wondering what toggling these mushrooms would do. I wasn't sure, but now, now you're showing me. Now I'm not sure anymore, I've reached a dead end. Oh, monster- oh. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Can I feed Temi? Temi only wants the Temi- I don't have Temi flakes. No, so hunger. Oh god. What is this attack? <laughs> Temi vibrates intensely. Can I talk to Temi? You say hello to Temi. Oi, I'm Temi! Oh god! How am I supposed to dodge that? Temi fought her other attack. Oh, forgot her other attack. Can I... Okay, thanks Temi. I'll, I'm sure I'll find- I'll come across you again at some point, right? Is there a way for me to get over there? Hold on. Oh, okay. I that that was a very long-winded way for me to come back, but I guess that's fine. <sighs> Outwards and onwards. Here we go. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. I see. I can see the Chris. Oh no. Okay, wait. Without lights, you use the crystals to guide. Okay. I can trigger the lamps, but the lamps can only take me so far. And so I can only assume that looking at the crystals is what's gonna. Oh god. Oh, these are mold small. You guys aren't Temi. Oh. Does every weapon have like a different, unique attack pattern? That's pretty cool. Roar. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How good is my dodging? I'm so bad at this. Mold Big has seen better days. Oh, you went from Mold Small to Mold Big. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Wait, I gotta move, I gotta move. I need crystals. The crystals will guide me. 
the the crystals will I spent way too much time here I'm lost oh navigating through really long dark labyrinths is something that I'm really good at right yeah yeah hold on I'm gonna be stuck here for a while until I get back to another lamp where am I oh my sense of direction is so bad I'm pretty sure there was a pass- I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna come across new enemies. Out darn spot! No need for a swimming suit. Oh, oh. Oh, they're both attacking at the same- Oh, oh dear. Oh, man. Aaron is sweating bullets. I didn't read the other thing. Sorry, Washua! Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Aaron is splashing around. Education? Hobby? Talent? Anything? Oh, oh, oh god. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Much muscle. Very well. That's a lot of EXP. <laughs> Wait, is this also a dead end? I'm- I'm lost. I'm genuinely- Oh, lamp. Oh! I'm- but I'm at a dead end. Okay, we just gotta go. We gotta remember things and go. Cause otherwise we're never gonna get out of here. Lamp! 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 Whew, okay. That was a little more difficult than it should have been. That's- because I'm just bad at remembering things and I have a terrible sense of direction. Behind you. Oh. Oh no. Um. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give back, give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh, oh my god. Um. Um, um, um. Undying! I'll, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? D hey, you aren't going to tell me my parents about this guy words. <laughs> Thanks, kid. You saved my skin. What do I do now? You aren't gonna tell my parents- Oh, oh, that's because it recorded the last thing that was said. How do I get through here? I don't think that's a place I can get through. Oh. That's a lot of flowers. You hear passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise- It's still the wish one! Wait, I need to know what the wish is. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's it's just funny. That's my wish too. Aww. <laughs> However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Hmm. Interesting prophecy. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um. Yo, you're human, right? Man, I knew it! Well,. I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that 
human. So like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Yo, can it say something mean so I can hate you, please? No, it's okay. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Uh, here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. I hate your guts. Man, I'm... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Oh, 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 oh no! Yo, wait! Help! I tripped! I must help! Let me help! I helped! Y y yo d dude if if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Oh, she's backing down. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Go home, man. It's not safe out here. Later, dude. I hope to see you around again. See you around the bend. Can I get a save point? Now would be a good time to save. Oh no. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? <laughs> oh god! You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans were compassionate, but you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense? Please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Doggo, who always made me laugh, was dead because of the whims of a single human. No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shining armor has appeared, and all the pain you inflicted on the fallen, every hope, every dream you've turned to dust, she's gonna send right back through her spear. Nah! I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. My camera! Man, if I spared Doggo, would this would this cutscene not happen? Come on, step forward and let's end this. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Unfortunately, this is where I have to stop today. The music is so epic, I just want to keep going, but um, I'm I'm well past my time. I forget where I left off as usual, cause. Oh, that's right. We're about to face off with, uh, what's her face? Undyne. Her name is Undyne. I remember it. We're about to face off Undyne. This was a terrible spot to leave off of, but we'll see what happens. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that is a, oh. On guard. What does green mean? You never taught me what green means. What is green? Can I plead with Undyne? You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. <gasps> what? <laughs> you're throwing so many new game mechanics at me at the same time I'm feeling overwhelmed. No. <laughs> What what was I playing? Was it like DDR or was it like Oh god, it smells like sushi. Challenge! You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. Not bad, then how about this? Uh oh it really is just DDR. Okay, I can I can handle this. 
Undyne bounces impatiently. I challenge Undyne again. It's not enough. I can defend against your stuff. I'm really, I really am just playing DDR. <laughs> Undyne flashes a menacing smile. That's still not enough. I can still take it. Give me your best shot. Oh, okay, maybe. Oh, mm, I regret this now. <laughs> smells like sushi. Again, again, faster. Better, faster, harder, stronger. What are the lyrics? Oh, darn it. Smells like sushi. How many times can I challenge Undyne? You tell Undyne her attacks. Are yeah, they're still too easy. I'm still getting hit by them, but they're still too easy. I'm taunting you. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, shoot! You had, oh, you had to throw in that last part? Come on. Should I plead for mercy yet? Oh, well, all done. Healing takes a turn. Oh, no! That was a mistake! Okay. Oh. Undyne thinks of her friends as pound and pound... Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I don't know why that's so hard to read. Can I plead? I told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Anyone else would be dead by now. Wait, are, are we just like pulling at her heartstrings now? Is there someone in her life that she remembers that vaguely resembles- Oh god. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Do we plead again? You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks became a little less extreme. It's the same dialogue. Alphys told me humans were determined. Oh, what the? Oh, that threw me off guard. <laughs> I guess now we just keep pleading until she, like, buckles under her emotions? Her attacks became. Yeah, uh huh. I see now what she meant. I. I, I can't read. Oh. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. We're just gonna keep pleading now. Nothing happened. But I'm determined too. Oh shoot. Oh, oh wow. Uh, I'm stubborn. I wanna keep doing this. I just I don't have the healing items for it. I'm not too very good. I'm not very good at the at dodging things. Oh shoot. Undyne is hyperventilating. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get unfair. You'll never escape from me. Is there a way to escape? Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. So do I alternate between challenge and plead? You told Undyne you just want to be friends, she remembers someone. Her text became a little less. Th this is all normal. But if I can't escape. Oh, shoot. Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. You'll never escape from. I, I don't quite understand. Oh, God. I'm really bad at this. I really don't want to attack Undyne, but I feel like at this point I should- oh, come on. I feel like at this point I should. You'll never escape from me. Is there a way for me to just leave? It smells like angry fish. Oh, there is a flea option. Hang on. Wait, no, but a lot of the boss fights, they show up with flea, and then it's just like... I still have to do the fight later. I'm out of here. Stop running away. Oh. Goodbye, Undyne. <laughs> oh, and the chase begins. Ah. Uh. Oh, she's fast. She's a fast one.
Come back here, you little punk. I didn't know this is what how it was how it was gonna go, but sure, let's go. Goodbye. Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Quick. Alright, Papyrus, not now. I'm being chased by Undyne. Give me a second here. I'll, I'll get back to you in a sec. Sans! Sans! Come back here, you little punk. Nope. Goodbye. Crossing the bridge. Crossing bridge. Ooh, water. Are we gonna get a water break? I think I might need some water. <laughs> Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. No. Undyne, do you want some water? It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. You take a cup of water. Undyne, water! Give Undyne water. Yes! She thirsty! Isn't she a fish? Is Undyne a fish? Or like a, a sea creature? Hmm... Yet, yeah, uh, oh. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye, Undyne. By the power of kindness. The power of kindness compels you. 